Welcome to the Emerson Exchange Studios. I'm Jim Cunningham. I'm sitting here with Jim Nyquist, Group President of Systems and Solutions. Jim, welcome, how are you? Great, Jim, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, okay, let's just dive right in. Yeah. Tell us about the Delta V cloud hosting environment. What is that exactly? Okay, well, Delta V cloud hosting environment is a private Emerson cloud environment where over the last four years we've hosted uh, a number of virtualized Delta V systems primarily for the purpose of project engineering and factory acceptance testing or a virtual FAT, okay? Uh, you know, the cloud engineering was a large part of our project certainty initiative and our engineers around the world and customers have seen a lot of productivity. Uh, just being able to collaboratively engineer a system from all anywhere in the world concurrently, yeah. all right? And, uh, since we started building this network over about three years ago, three, four years ago, we virtualized thousands of Delta V systems, uh, hosted those, and today we have probably over 10,000 machines virtualized in this, in this cloud environment. Wow. I could see uh, where that would be very valuable to everybody yeah. involved, but talk about how the hosting environment for Delta V Cloud translates to operations. Okay. Well, you know, this has been such a successful uh, tool, I would say, in our project engineering. Our customers now have come to us and said, look, can you take that into the operating environment? And they've, they've got several use cases for it, I would say. The two that they've really picked out and we're working on mostly, number one is, can you host a, a Delta V digital twin mm. in the cloud environment for me? So you, can you build an operations reference system for me that you can maintain in the cloud, keep it uh, coordinated, and up to date with my physical system I have in the plant and host that for me in the cloud, all right? Secondly, they'd like us to host a, a mimic dynamic simulator also in the cloud for them so they can do operator training on site. So rather than putting in a large capital investment and building an entire duplicate system, we host it for them in the cloud and then we sell it to them as a software as a service. So, wow. so uh, we have called this in the past, we called it RVO2, it was Remote Virtual Office and now as we're moving to this operational phase, we're going to rebrand it, and it's going to be more of a Delta V cloud hosting environment. And so we're beta testing it now with two or three customers, and we'll, we'll fully launch this into the market in 2018. Yeah. Uh, what, what's the feedback been so far as you, as you sort of test it? Well, there's a lot of enthusiasm. I'd say really three things our customers are saying. First, they're very concerned about cybersecurity. Mm, so sure. how are you going to make it secure? So, uh, we spent the last year working with our customers internally, with Emerson Corporate IT, in putting this behind the Emerson firewall. It's going to be on a private cloud, not a public cloud, a private cloud behind the firewall. We made it very secure, and uh, so we want to make sure it's, it's locked tight. It's, it's a vault, right, of right. their data that they put in there, number one. Secondly, they're very excited actually about the whole hosting environment for both a digital twin of their control system and operator training with a simulator. Uh, but third, you know, uh, what they're really hopeful about and I think optimistic about is the promise of this. So today we can build a virtual twin of the Delta V system, host that. In the future, we'll build a virtual twin of their plant environment. So wow. a dynamic, high fidelity dynamic model, put it in the cloud as well, we'll hook them together, and now the customer has a fully virtual environment that they can go test out any kind of control strategies, they can train operators, they can do testing of uh, before they do upgrades. Any change they want to make in the plant, they'll make first in their digital twin, and then they'll they'll see how it works, then they'll move it to the physical plant and make the change there. Holy mackerel, that's cool stuff. It's really cool stuff, and you know that that's the promise of the digitization that we're going through right now, this digital transformation, and this is just one more step, and we think it's going to bring great benefits to operational certainty of their plant facilities. Yeah, I can see exactly how that could be true. We can't thank you enough for spending some time right. with us here, Jim. Good. This has just been great. Appreciate you dropping by the Emerson Exchange Studios. That goes for you folks as well. If you want to find out more, you can at emerson.com.